folks, today we're going to talk about a serious topic. We are all concerned about the so-called Zika virus. <laughs> Zika virus! So, let's see some questions and answers to clarify and reassure us on the subject. The first question is, what is this Zika everybody's talking about? Well guys, Zika is a virus transmitted by the Aedes aegypti mosquito. What are the symptoms? Well, the Department of Health said that about 80% of the people have no symptoms at all. But in some cases, the symptoms are headache, low fever, joint pain, and red dots on the skin. Third question. How long does it take to recover in case of symptoms? As we have seen, 80% of the cases do not realize the symptoms. Usually, some of the symptoms are felt for a week maximum. A week? Only that? What is microcephaly? Microcephaly is a rare neurological condition in which the infant's head and brain are significantly smaller than the heads and brains of other children of the same age and sex. Yes, I have read that because this is really hard to remember. What is the relationship between the Zika virus and the microcephaly? Well, although it's not scientifically proven, surveys suggest that the virus is responsible for the development of the microcephaly if the mother is infected during the pregnancy. Do all infected mothers have children with microcephaly? No. Brazilian authorities do not have an estimated number of pregnant women infected with the Zika whose child had microcephaly. However, the estimate is very low. In Colombia, there were 2,824 cases of pregnant women with Zika and no cases of microcephaly were diagnosed. Do I have more chances to get in the disease as a woman? No, no better were determined to the contamination, whether women, men, children or elderly. Can I transmit the virus through bodily fluids like semen, saliva or breast milk? The only evidence so far is that breast milk do not transmit the virus. On other fluids, nothing has been proven. Even so, we recommend you use condoms. If it were true, with the number of kisses we had in Carvo, the contamination would be too damn high. A very important question now, how can I protect myself? The use of repellents is very useful. We recommend you apply on exposed areas and over your clothes too. In short, if you're coming to Brazil and you're not pregnant and do not intend to be, you don't have to worry too much. By the way, one of our teachers have had Zika and he's totally recovered by now. To prove that, I'm going to give him a kiss. So, come and share some kisses in Brazil. <laughs>